Experts are predicting the face of Adelaide will change dramatically over the next 35 years to meet the needs of a rapidly growing and ageing population. Leading planners believe our population will double and the average home will be worth over a million dollars, all while keeping the charm for which our city is well known. We're a city of the arts and culture, fine wines and quality produce on our doorstep. A great place to raise your children, where a family home is still within reach. But what will we look like in the year 2050? Adelaide will see enormous change. Adelaide in the year 2050 is going to be a spectacular place to live. I think that there will be significant changes. Housing will be almost unlimited. Town planner Darren Starr says the CBD will boom with more apartment buildings, plus high density living on the city fringe. I think you'll see a denser Adelaide with different forms of housing, but a choice of housing for however people want to live. A population now is 1.3 million. As the calendar clicks over towards 2050, there'll be more like 2 million of us. Leading Australian demographer Bernard Salt says the northern suburbs will have to expand big time. Another 600,000 residents packed into the greater Adelaide metropolitan area means something like 60 to 80 new suburbs. Existing suburbs will also expand from Mawson Lakes as well as Anglevale and further north to Gawler and Roseworthy with commercial and residential developments. The size of homes will become a lot smaller. It's potentially good because the hope is that housing may become more affordable. But the great Australian dream will be much more expensive. That by the year 2050, even what we would consider a standard residential house will cost in the millions. There are also the social, health, aged care and law and order issues that come with a much bigger city and the experts agree a firm plan of how we do it is definitely needed. This is a far bigger city than uh, Adelaide is at the moment and managing housing, infrastructure, transportation and jobs will be an enormous challenge for any state government over the next four decades. Will MacDonald, Nine News.